J. Jones Car Audio 1. You already know what it is. What's going on, guys? I know it's been a minute since I made a video, um, but I got some things to open tonight. And I don't know if it's all car audio related because I ordered a bunch of shit, stuff, I should say. And uh, some of it's sitting here, and I still got some stuff out there. So if it's not car audio related or whatever, I just throw it to the side and we keep it moving. But uh, I also got a package from my dude, um, 818 here. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get into that as well. As I can see, something's already poking through the back there. Um, which I didn't even notice that till just now. But anyway, um, we'll set that one to the side. Let's get into this, uh, as you can see, this audio savings and see what's cracking with that. I didn't pre-cut none of this stuff, so um, I don't normally use this knife. This knife seems pretty, like a pretty good blade here. This is my 16-in-1 or whatever cheap uh, multi-tool. Um, that I don't know, I probably picked up at the Real King or some shit like that. Um, let's see what we got in here. I know what I'm expecting it to be. But... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's exactly what I wanted. I don't... Well, I guess I can go ahead and take them out. This mug is heavy, man. I mean, damn, you see this box bone? I could you maybe mess around and get swole lifting this box right here. But, uh, yeah, we got four RT4s. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if you recognize the symbol right here. But if you don't recognize that symbol, please do your homework. Get back with J. Jones Car Audio 1 and tell me what you think. Because by I'm sitting here, you already know what I think. And uh, shout outs goes out to my boy Ant Slaps. If you don't know Ant Slaps, go, to, go, go over there. It's A-N-T-Z-S-L-A-P-Z. Uh, go over there and check out his YouTube channel. Tell him J. Jones Car Audio 1 sent you over there. This is a... This is this is a game changer, bro. I mean, damn, I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to put these. These mugs is heavy as hell, man. I mean, if I can even get it out. Uh, let's see. I did not realize it was this heavy duty, man. This don't make no damn sense, man. This is gonna be boy. I'm telling y'all what, man. <laughs> this is gonna be stupid loud, yo. Man, when you look at the size of the magnet on this damn thing, bro. I mean, come on, man. This is a damn tweeter, man. What in the hell have I got into, man? I didn't I didn't even know that I was getting into something like this, though. This shit don't make no damn sense at all, man. I mean, that's not connected. I hope that wasn't supposed to be connected to nothing. Um, I don't know. Let's see that. That's not connected to anything. It's connected to the positive on this side. Oh, okay. I think I just run the cord off of this, off of this end, and then that'll give me my cross up. But it's already crossed at the amp anyway, so I mean, really, I could just bypass that, and not even use it. But I think I run the wire off of this, and then just pick it up from this side because it only needs to be blocked on one side. Um, but anyway, man. I mean, I can't. I don't know. Maybe let me find something, man. Let me find something just to give you scale. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to make this video too long. But here go a big lighter. You know what I mean? And I just want to set that lighter right there next to this tweeter, man. I mean, I don't know what that does for you, but I mean, damn, dude, this this is this is no this is I'm not playing no games, man. That's what this is. 120 watts, a two inch titanium compression horn tweeter, man. This is Mr. Not playing no games, and I ain't bullshit, man. I got four of them. You see the other three? I was going to put two in each door, but damn. I mean, I don't even think that's going to be called for, man. I mean, I wanted it to be loud. and You know, Rockville definitely came through. I mean, I ain't hooked it up or now. We're going to see how it sounds. But, God, I mean, <laughs> I don't know how many pounds this is, man. Hold on. Let's see what it is on the box, man. I know we already have four minutes, man. It's all good. Uh, let's see what we got here. Damn. CEA compliant, too. Focus. Damn, we can't get no focus on that CEA compliant, can we? There it is. Eight ohms, of course. I was going to run two together. Four ohms, 60 watts RMS. And believe me, at 60 watts, I'm sure that screen. I'm sure that screen. 30 ounce magnet structure. 60 ounce motor structure. Two inch high temperature die cast voice coil. You mean to tell me this damn thing got a two inch voice coil in it? Yeah, man, J. Jones Car Audio 1 doing way too much, man. I didn't even know that. But uh, let's keep this going. I know we already have five minutes and I ain't did nothing, man. You just, just hang in there with me, man. 
Let's see what this other little box is holding. Okay, yeah, this is what I was looking for. Holding. Now, um, I don't know if you know anything about these five oceans right here. But if not, check them out, bro. Check me out, check me out, check me out. I got me a little invoice right there, but we ain't, we ain't too interested in that invoice. What we are interested in is these big-ass things right here. Oh, I love that bubble pop. Ever since I was a little shorty. Uh, damn, man, these is huge, man. This shit's going to be super loud, dude. I didn't even... I mean, they was just 20 bucks a piece. I didn't know what I was getting into, man. But, uh, shit, I do now. You talking about keeping the amp cool, bro. If this don't do it, shit, I don't know. I don't know what else, you know what I'm saying? 18 watt gauge, or excuse me, 16 watt gauge, you know what I'm saying? Direct lead. And uh, that's just your power and ground right there. I'm pretty sure that it turned on. Oh, the flow comes out this side? Okay, so I thought it would come out that way. Guess not. It comes out this way. Huh, well, that's all I got today, fellas. I'm sorry for boring y'all, but uh, I know I, oh, no, it ain't, because I still got a 818 unboxing to do. I should have made a separate video for you, 818, but uh, I hope you stuck around, bro, because I don't want you to miss this. But um, these tweeters, I'm still tripping off this shit, man. I don't even know if my door can even support this damn thing. That's just, that's just stupid tweeter right there, man. I mean, that don't even make no damn sense to have a tweeter that damn big in your shit, man. You know, without you doing like an ambulance vehicle or some shit like that. That shouldn't even be able to be legal to be in a, a regular car door. But anyway, enough about that. Um, so, me and 818 been chit-chatting, of course, over a little uh, app, uh, Marco Polo. You know, basically like a FaceTime thing. And uh, he said, man, you know what? I got something for you. And I was like, huh? And then, you know what I'm saying? I didn't hear nothing for a minute. Because, yeah, you know, if you follow 818... Uh, base that is you know that he's been in the middle or he just got done with his build so i was kind of bothering dude like man you said you had something coming i mean is that still the case or you know did you renege on that or well, what it was so he shot me the video showed me him at the damn post office you know what i'm saying not that it was that serious you know what i'm saying i just didn't know what you know what i'm saying what was up with it or you know if it was still coming or you know but you know you get busy you know and then you gotta deal with life as well so things happen but let's see what's in this package oh shit mm, damn 818 motherfucker all right so i'm thinking these were his old speaker wires or something like that i remember these in i think his last build i'm not sure but uh as you can see sky high car audio or maybe you can't i'm, not, I'm no cameraman remember that sky high car audio you know, it looks like, looks like 8 gauge. No, it's, it's 4 gauge. Damn, it's been so long. I mean, you know, I just figured that it was 8 gauge because uh, I know how they overdo shit over there. Sky High Car Audio. But it's got the crimp terminals on there already. Heat shrunk. Sky High Car Audio complete. And it's got the uh, reducer. So, yeah, that's hella nice, man. I definitely could, you know, I'm going to use that somewhere for show. Really appreciate that, man. Oh, damn, this must be what he's talking about from the alternator. All right, give me a second, guys. Let me get this out real quick. I think this goes on your alternator, and then it allows you to have two runs, which I could really... You don't even understand what you just did, 818. You're creating a monster over here, man. I'm telling you. Damn, that don't... It's not a... Oh, it's not a... Uh, you can't put it back once you open it, I guess. So we're going to go ahead and open it like that. Yeah, man, I don't know who the hell made this or if this is... I don't say tool maker or nothing on no, no, it. don't have to. But what you do is, uh, you know, your positive post of your alternator, you put this over the positive. Then you screw that down. Then it gives you two zero gauge, true zero gauge, too. That's probably oversized zero gauge. Terminals to run, you know, to the back or to your battery or, you know, whatever, however you want to do that. So that's definitely dope. I appreciate that, man. Nothing but love for you, 818. And it looks like that's it, man. You know? So thank you, 818, man. You did not have to do that. I really appreciate you. And, uh, yeah, that's my little unboxings for the day. And, uh, yeah, I don't have any. Uh, I still got the uh, the insurance done lapsed on the car um, in, the, in the process of building my truck. So that's really why you ain't seen any uh, videos of it. But I'm getting ready to tear that system out. So I may post one more video of that. Uh, let me know if you guys want to see one more video. If not, then, you know, that's fine, too. But, um, yeah, just let me know in the comments whether you guys want one more final demo. 
and uh, cause I mean it gets hella low these days, man. And uh, I planned on re redoing the doors. That's what these rock bills is about, you know. Cause I was gonna redo them, but uh, I might just go ahead and let my old lady get that car and get something else, man. You know, that's what I really been debating. I think it's time for me to start fresh and something else. I like to get another little Cavalier, but uh, we'll see where that goes, man. These damn tweeters, man. This shit just don't. This this. Shit, I mean, man. Damn. All right, YouTube. I know it's been over ten minutes. Peace and love. Oh, look at him! Look at him! Look at him! Sound stream sitting back there. Don't even know nothing about that yet, do you? Mm, mm, mm. Peace and love. Deuces.